House Democrats came out with a new report showing that former President Donald Trump had massively overcharged the Secret Service for staying at his hotel while they were protecting his kids. According to the House Oversight Committee, who released the second part of their report about Trump's use of his Washington, D.C. hotel while he was in office, it noted that he regularly uh, upcharged Secret Service agents up to 300% more for a room. Wow. The report points specifically to November 28, 2017, when the Secret Service paid $600 apiece for several rooms for agents guarding Trump's son, Eric, and his wife, Laura, NBC reported. On the same night, record show, more than 80 rooms were rented out at the Trump Hotel at less than $600 a night. So, basically... Oh, are you a Secret Service person? Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do the um, Secret Service fee uh, to, you know, make extra money off the government. Because um, that's what we're doing. <laughs> now, this this is part of, uh, this is the second part of the House Democrats report. The first report actually detailed the way that foreign countries use that same hotel to try to curry favor with Trump which would be, of course, uh, breaking the emoluments clause. Uh, now, the committee ultimately uncovered at least $7.8 million from foreign entities that Trump's private, private businesses received while he was in office. So Trump's private businesses gets this money, and that money is not supposed to influence Trump? In what, on what planet? In what world? Oh, yeah, no, th th these foreign dignitaries that are staying at my hotel, I'm, of course, not going to be favorable to them in negotiation. Of course not, says no one. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. Incredibly naive if you believe that, all right? Uh, now, the investigation also found that U.S. ambassadors, three people that Trump appointed to the federal bench, two governors— a state legislative delegation and a Trump cabinet secretary also spent money at the hotel during the 11th month period the committee investigated. Now, this was a very narrow investigation. The reason that, by the way, it was so narrow is because Trump refused to give a lot of information over to the House committee. So there's that. So this is a little bit of corruption. It could be a lot more. And it was likely to be a lot more. So one specific example that's cited in the report is Kelly Kraft, who Trump appointed to be a U.S. ambassador to Canada and ultimately the U.N. ambassador. She was one such individual who basically used the Trump hotel as a way to launder money, okay, uh, to Donald Trump in order to try to buy her position. Kraft spent 20 nights at the Trump Hotel over an 11-month period. It cost her nearly 30 grand. Communications between Kraft and her staff revealed that she was offered a less expensive hotel option while in Washington for a conference. Still, Kraft maintained that she must stay at the Trump Hotel. No, you don't understand. I have to stay there because it might help me get a, a favorable position because Donald Trump, that's all he understands is I put money in his pocket and he gives me a favorable position. That's it. And that's not all, by the way. There were also people seeking pardons from Trump. One is Albert Pirro, the ex-husband of Fox host Janine Pirro, who spent more than $2,000 at the Trump Hotel in 2018 and ended up scoring a flurry of one of a flurry of pardons, NBC reported, which Trump issued when leaving office. He was convicted of federal conspiracy and tax evasion. Big shocker. <laughs> Big shocker. Of course, all you got to do to find the corruption is just to follow the money. It'll take you where you need to go. Now, the committee ultimately sorted through about $300,000 in payments to the Trump Corporation over those 11 months they believe violated the emoluments clause in the Constitution. The law prevents presidents from making money off of foreign or domestic governments while in office. Well, Trump made money 
of our government and foreign governments. Uh, now, the first report found that the Saudis, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates spent more than $700,000 at Trump's D.C. hotel during the first two years of his presidency alone. Now, Trump has since sold that hotel. Nonetheless, this is the swamp. He said, I'm going to drain the swamp. And he did, apparently, right into his pocket. All right. <laughs> it was all a way to make money. It's a grift. Now, of course, Republicans in the House Oversight Committee, like Chairman James Comer, who, remember, was chasing after Joe Biden, right? Claim, ah, oh, the Biden crime family getting all this money from foreign governments. Had this to say about this report. Well, this is a spokeswoman. She said the report was more recycled garbage from the Democrats, fruitless and a close to a decade-long investigation of President Trump. Unlike the Bidens, the Trumps actually had business and made money from the services they provided. No, this is clear-cut corruption. Foreign governments coming in and influence peddling. Ooh, yeah, by going in and staying at Trump hotels, putting money in his pockets, all right? And, and then, you know, going in and doing negotiations with Donald Trump, as well as people getting put into ambassadorships for other countries, staying at Trump hotels. I mean, it, again, all that stuff happened, and yet the Comer spokesperson's like, didn't see it. What corruption? Oh no, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the Bidens, which again didn't amount to anything. <laughs> okay. So that entire clownish investigation into the so-called Biden crime family came up with nothing. Not a dick. <laughs> okay. Nothing. And yet we got this investigation that actually comes up with corruption a monuments clause violations. And they're like, nope, don't see it. Uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's more recycled garbage. Look, I think it's pretty obvious what happened, okay? Um, Trump did corruption. Very open and naked corruption. Look, the report's authors wrote, the findings of these Democratic staff reports reveal significant shortcomings in the current federal anti-corruption framework. Shortcomings that Donald Trump exploited to the tune of millions of dollars and intends to exploit again if he's returned to the Oval Office. As such, these reports are urgent calls to action that Congress must heed to ensure the effective enforcement of the Constitution's Domestic Emoluments Clause, as well as the Foreign Emoluments Clause, and to ensure that our government serves exclusively the public interests of the people rather than the private interests of the president. Look, um, do I think anything's going to happen on this? No. But wait, it's open corruption. What are you talking about? Well, that's the problem, right? So Trump's not going to get in trouble for obvious corruption because it's always existed, right, in this country. Trump, what he did was take it for all it was worth in the most obvious way possible because he probably correctly believed that he would get away with it. I mean, we'll have to see, but I think he will. On this, oh, on the emolument stuff? Oh, no. To think that Congress will fix the issue by passing something that's strong, legislation against this kind of corruption? No, not going to happen. <laughs> okay? Especially when you have Republicans that would filibuster probably anything. And the reason, of course, they would do that uh, to try to stop anti-corruption measures is because, shocker, many of them are also corrupt. Nonetheless, great example showing you how, yes, uh, how much corruption exists, how much the president will likely get away with, and how personally corrupt Donald Trump is. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member 
on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.